Why is reducing carbon emissions critical to our planet's health? What role does global collaboration play in achieving this? Well, let's break it down. Carbon emissions are a central cause of climate change, leading to rising global temperatures, extreme weather events and loss of biodiversity. The issue is, no single country can combat this alone. It requires a global effort. That's where platforms like COP28 come into play, fostering international cooperation on climate action. As we dive into the initiatives taken at COP28, let's remember that each step we take to reduce carbon emissions is a step towards a healthier, more sustainable Earth. The COP28 climate conference in Dubai was a hub of innovative ideas and powerful commitments. Let's explore the key decisions and commitments made during the conference. The conference was an exciting time, with countries from around the globe coming together, each with their unique plans and commitments to tackle climate change. One of the key highlights was the United Arab Emirates' ambitious plan to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. This commitment, a first in the Middle East and North Africa region, comes with a staggering investment of 600 billion dirhams in renewable energy. It's a clear indication of the UAE's determination to lead the way in the region's transition to a sustainable future. But the UAE's initiatives didn't stop there. They also made a significant push for food security, directing government entities to support local agri-tech efforts and buy locally grown produce. Why is this important for climate change, you ask? Well, by reducing the distance food travels, we effectively cut down on the carbon emissions involved in its transportation. It's a small but significant step towards a more sustainable future. The conference also served as a platform for reflection and learning. COP27, held in Egypt, had been a disappointment for many, with allegations of influence from fuel industry lobbyists and an overall lack of progress. The anticipation was high for COP28 to usher in a new approach to fighting climate change. And indeed, the conference saw calls for reform, with a stronger focus on practical sector-specific actions over global consensus. Non-state actors played a considerable role in pushing for climate action, emphasizing the importance of collaboration between different stakeholders in this fight against climate change. These initiatives at COP28 have set a new precedent for global collaboration in the fight against climate change. The conference has shown us that with a collective commitment to sustainable practices, we can indeed make a difference and move towards a carbon neutral future. The measures taken at COP28 are not just words on paper, they have the potential to make a significant impact on carbon reduction. Consider the United Arab Emirates' bold commitment to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. This pledge, backed by a significant investment in renewable energy, is a considerable stride towards a greener future. But the impact goes beyond the borders of the UAE. As the first country in the Middle East and North Africa region to announce such a concrete climate commitment, the UAE sets a precedent for other nations in the region. It's a powerful message that echoes around the globe, inspiring other countries to follow suit and intensify their own carbon reduction efforts. In addition to its net zero emissions goal, the UAE is also making strides in food security. By directing government entities to buy locally grown produce, the UAE supports local agri-tech efforts, reduces the carbon footprint associated with food transportation and bolsters the resilience of its food supply. Each of these initiatives, driven by the momentum of COP28, contributes to a larger global effort to reduce carbon emissions. They represent tangible, actionable steps that can be taken by nations worldwide, regardless of their size or economic status. Yet, the true impact of these initiatives will only be felt if we continue to build upon them, if we continue to innovate, and if we maintain the spirit of collaboration fostered at COP28. The initiatives taken at COP28 are a beacon of hope for our planet's future, promising a concerted global effort towards reducing carbon emissions. The COP28 conference in Dubai was a pivotal event in our global fight against climate change. The conference saw the launch of key initiatives that have the potential to significantly reduce carbon emissions. The United Arab Emirates set a precedent for the Middle East and North Africa region, announcing a plan to achieve net zero emissions by 2050 and investing a staggering 600 billion dirhams in renewable energy. In a push for food security, the UAE also directed government entities to support local agri-tech endeavours, 
a move that will not only boost the local economy but also reduce carbon emissions associated with food transportation. The conference also saw the expansion of the Global Methane Pledge, a commitment to tackle methane emissions from waste and animal agriculture, and the formation of coalitions aimed at making new car sales zero emission by 2035, and new trucks and buses zero emission by 2040. These initiatives underscore the importance of global collaboration in the fight against climate change, reminding us that every nation has a role to play in reducing carbon emissions. As we look forward to the future, let's keep in mind the powerful message from COP28. Only together can we address the challenges of climate change and create a sustainable world for the generations to come.